You know how just a few years ago the Rimac Navero was the electric hypercar everyone pointed to? Fastest EV, insane acceleration, record-breaking top speed. It was untouchable. Well, that just changed. Because BYD, yes, BYD from China, just dropped a bombshell on the entire EV world with the Yang Wang U9 Track Edition. And they didn't just edge past Rimac, they obliterated the record. So here's the headline. The Yang Wang U9 Track Edition just hit 472 kilometers per hour. That's 293.5 miles an hour, faster than anything else on electricity right now. And it happened earlier this month in Germany at the Papenburg Proving Grounds. Professional driver Mark Bassing was behind the wheel, the same guy who set the previous record with the standard U9 last year. Now, let's put this into perspective. Rimax Nevera R set the mark in July, 268 miles per hour, which is already mind-melting. And that was supposed to stand for a while. BYD just leapfrogged that by 25 miles per hour in hypercar territory. That's not a small gap. That's a canyon. And the numbers behind this thing, they almost don't sound real. Four electric motors. Each one makes 744 horsepower. Multiply that by four, and you're looking at 2,960 horsepower. Almost 3,000. For comparison, the Rimac is pushing around 1,989 horsepower. So the BYD isn't just playing in the same league. It's a whole new category. But horsepower doesn't mean much if you can't control it. And this is where BYD flexes some engineering muscle. The U9 Track Edition is running on BYD's E4 platform with torque vectoring, and this system they call Daisus X Intelligent Body Control. Basically, the suspension is making constant micro-adjustments on its own to keep the car planted at absurd speeds. Think of it like a hypercar with reflexes better than most Formula One drivers. And then, there's the platform. This is apparently the world's first mass-produced 1200-volt EV setup. That means faster charging, less heat, more efficiency, and paired with a thermal management system designed for extreme conditions, it's built for exactly this type of performance run. What I love is how low-key they were about the actual record attempt. The car that ran at Papenburg, it had duct tape on some of the panel gaps for aerodynamics. Like, we're talking record-setting EVs, and there's duct tape holding them together. That's wild. Oh, and they swapped out the big swan neck rear wing for a cleaner setup, added a carbon fiber splitter, and threw on some Giddy tire semi-slicks designed just for this run. Now, the power to weight ratio is the other jaw dropper. The U9 Track Edition is putting out about 1,200 horsepower per ton. The Navera, around 978 horsepower per ton. That gap is what allows the BYD to just keep pulling when everything else tops out. And you can tell BYD is making a statement with this car. Like, yes, we make electric buses, affordable EVs, and hybrids. But now, we also make the fastest electric vehicle in the world. Period. Mark Bassing, the driver, said it best after the run. Last year, he thought he had peaked with the U9's first record. Never expected to break his own record so soon. But that's exactly what happened. So what does this mean for us in North America? Well, we might not see the Yangwang U9 Track Edition sold here anytime soon, if ever. But the technology behind it? The high-voltage platform, the torque vectoring, the suspension smarts, pieces of this will trickle down. And BYD is clearly signaling they're not just here to compete on range and price. They want to compete at the bleeding edge of performance too. All right, let's wrap this up. BYD's Yangwang U9 Track Edition is now the fastest EV in the world, clocking almost 300 miles per hour. That's quicker than Rimac, quicker than anything Tesla's even hinted at, and a huge milestone in the EV arms race. If you're into stories like this, where the numbers are almost too crazy to believe, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next big one.